I just want to say thank you so much to the hockey department for having me back. It's an honor and a privilege um, to be here tonight to speak at the uh, hockey spotlight evening. On March 3rd, Amy sent me a voice note and she asked that I'll be willing to give a pitch at tonight's event. And without hesitation, I said yes, absolutely. I went to my computer, found my public speaking teaching notes on how to provide the perfect pitch and started writing. After having taught Stanford graduate engineers the importance of rights, an acronym we use to remember relevance, issues, and solutions, while highlighting their expertise through each point, I was confident in the structure of the pitch. I put pen to paper, but stayed blank with the page for multiple minutes. <laughs> I reflected on my many unforgettable memories throughout my student athlete career and decided I'm not going to stand here this evening and use RISE to push why you should donate money to the Astro Club Heights. If you hope someone gets that right though. <laughs> but rather share the incredible honor and privilege it is to be a student athlete. I challenge you all not to think of this story as unique to me or an American university. Student athletes across the world share a very special identity and although our stories will differ, our experiences are relatable, the lessons learned the same, and the challenges overcome similar. I know a lot has changed since I left the college in 2016, but not my hairstyle. <laughs> but this is where my hockey journey started. I was fortunate enough to be surrounded by passionate coaches during my time at the college, who not only went above and beyond to see the team succeed, but also allowed us to compete against the highest caliber teams in the country. My daily with the first team goal was in grade 9 when we played against a random mercy sport. The game that had been arranged purely to identify or to determine who would be the number one ranked girls first team in the country. The game was a bit of a blur to be honest, I remember being quite nervous. But what I do remember a little more clearly is the busloads of some of the college students who made it to Marty's Astro in the pouring rain to show their support. Irrespective of what happened on the field that day, I was proud to be a Somerset College hockey player and knew in that moment it was the right place for me to pursue my dreams. Hockey became far more than a game to me. I never fully comprehended the extent to which competing as a competitive player would develop, shape, and mold me into the person I am today. But what I never comprehended at all was how it would prepare me for life itself until I became a student athlete. Sport at Stanford was a full-time job. Plus minus 40 hours a week dedicated to a group of individuals working towards a common goal, a national championship. The coach was our boss, the assistant coaches our senior directors, the captains our managers, and the players, we were all employees. Similarly, game days were like boardroom meetings with big clients. The Ashley became our everyday office the locker room, obviously everyone's favorite, the break room. To be a su successful employee of the Sanford Field Hockey Team, I had to meet certain requirements and objectives while satisfying other criteria. For example, I learned rather early on that Africa time ex exists, well, only in Africa. <laughs> Being late to the office was simply not a risk I wanted to take. Punctuality and dependability were key. Once at the office, it was important for me to understand my role and be able to contribute in a positive manner towards achieving our goal. I analyzed this by asking myself, am I game ready? Being game ready entailed being technically and tactically sound, physically and mentally strong, while being the best colleague to my peers. I worked towards mastering the basic skills required tactically understanding offensive and defensive strategies, being physically robust while mentally confident, self-aware, composed, as well as having the ability to make sound decisions under pressure. Additionally, I also needed to have beliefs in myself, peers, and superiors. Finally, competitive desire was a must. Every day I went to work, I needed to have the desire to get better. Accepting a lower rank or getting demoted was as good as telling my boss I'd given a try. Other non-negotiables for a competitive student athlete included exceptional time management skills, to succeed academically while conquering mental health and problem-solving skills, 
along with flexible mindsets to be able to adapt under uncontrollable changes. Lastly, extraordinary communication skills to deal with conflict and, and build stronger and healthier partnerships. A few weeks ago, I temporarily moved home after five years at Stanford, and needless to say, after the four fully stuffed and slightly overweight suitcases I brought home with me, I needed to reorganize my cupboards. In the process, I find a copy of my Stanford application and briefly scanned the content. I cannot express the wave of gratefulness that washed over me as I realized there was no way I would have been able to put together the well-rounded application I did if it weren't for Somerset College and the amplitude of extracurricular activities, activity options, and leadership possibilities. I cannot stress the importance of exploring these options while at the college. The college has some of the best, the most passionate and dedicated coaches who not only give more than what is expected of them at school, but also ensure that athletes are able to partake in provincial trials and tournaments, which ultimately lead to national representation opportunities. Without their willingness to be involved in areas such as sports and club hockey, um, the hockey exposure for some of college students would not be the same, and guaranteed the success rate not as high. Student athletes are without a doubt the most well-rounded individuals in my opinion. If and only if they are fully open to everything the complex game has to offer. And this is where I want to share a personal story that I will forever hold extremely close to my heart. When preparing for Stanford, I had no idea that the NCAA Division I League with over more than 70 teams faced many awards and accolades on statistics. I never experienced the extent to which coaches and players paid attention to not only team stats but in individual stats too. And with all honesty, I brought into this at first. Love scoring goals and assisting teammates. But soon something else became more important. The mental health and happiness of my teammates. We unfortunately had a difficult time with team culture, but my focus shifted without me realizing it until the day of my graduation last year. I was never named to a tournament team or received individual accolades. I did, however, receive a message from a teammate's mom saying the following. You will always hold a very special place in my heart for doing what is right even when difficult. Never change. Choosing to advocate for my fellow teammates was the most rewarding thing I've ever done. Game time and statistics are only that, statistics. Yet it tends to occupy our minds most, nor you'll look back on in church Cherish, cherish more include lessons learned, personal development, traditions, feeling of accomplishment, time with friends, friends and friendships made. So value that. Now as I conclude, my question to you is the following. We do not, now that's our American slang for non-athlete regular people, don't tell them I use that word. <laughs> have the opportunity for the same personal and professional skills development throughout their time at school, college, or university. Before you even think it, internships are a mere three months, maybe, but student athletes are employed for three to four full years before even graduating with a degree. Talk about having an advantage irrespective of the level played. Student athletes are bound to success to exceed expectations in the workplace and life in general as they have developed invaluable skills earlier in life than they come to pass. I'm proud to share the student athlete experience with more Sunset College Olders who also use hockey as a vehicle for opportunity. Savannah Burns and Natasha Rutenberg are embracing the hockey coaching, studying and working experiences in Belgium, while Lauren Fenter is preparing to join me in the United States which will be starting her journey at Yale University. We are grateful our hockey journey started right here at Somerset College and can't wait to hear of more Somerset College student athletes succeeding during their time at the college, but also many years later when our backs are sore and knees foggy.